Welcome everybody to a new RxJS tip. We are probably all familiar with the tab operator. The tab operator allows us to perform side effects on our stream, but it's also very handy for debugging. Most of the time we use the tab operator with one callback. That's probably the most common use case. But did you know that the tab operator not only accepts a next handler, but a whole observer? In the current example, we use the tab operator to log out the values emitted by the interval operator. Our observable uses the take free operator, means after free emissions our observable completes. Imagine we now also want to log a done statement once the observable completes. As mentioned, the tab operator not only accepts a next call, but a whole observer. Instead of passing a next handler, we can pass a whole object with, a, with the next handler that will simply print the value, but then also a complete handler. And in this complete handler, we will simply lock done once the observable completes. If you run this code, our next handler locks the values 0, 1, 2, which are emitted by our interval operator, and then we get a done lock to the console. The done is locked because our observer will complete since it uses the take free operator. If you are familiar with an observer, you know that an observer not only accepts a next and a complete handler, but also accepts a error handler. So we can add a error handler where we accept a error and then console error the error. To invoke our error handler, we actually have to throw an error. So let's change our source observable to throw some error. To throw some error, we are going to use the throw error method and we return some error as a string. If you now run this code, our error handler gets invoked and the error gets printed to the console. So the tab operator not only accepts a next handler, but a complete observer. So you always have the possibility to additionally pass an error handler or a complete handler. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel to not miss future tips on RxJS, JavaScript or Angular.